Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited for tonight. Guess what I'm watching? Ghostbusters 2. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I've been missing Bill Murray on my channel. Even though <laughs> some of the comments were so funny on the first Ghostbusters, people were like, you're watching this wrong. This is not a horror movie, it's a comedy. <laughs> It was scary though. Like when she turned into that monster demon. Oh my gosh. Okay, but I'm excited to see how they expound on the Ghostbusters and their characters. I hope it's all the same guys. I want Bill Murray and Scorny Weaver to be in love. I'm ready for a comedy that still has a spooky feel for October. I know sequels don't usually live up to the hype, but I'm hoping this is an exception. And now that I'm basically a horror movie expert, this shouldn't be scary at all. Okay, all the things, okay. Five years later, gotta be pretty established by now. Haven't they caught all the ghosts? They sure love their goo. Did they have a baby? When are you gonna get around to fixing the radiator in the Vegas room? Oh, I asked you last week. using the baby as a prop in this movie. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thought they might have had an upgraded ghostmobile. I mean, they did save the world. They're in here. I hope you can handle it. It's been like a nightmare. How big are they? Four feet. Oh, I see what they did there. They do birthday parties now? My dad says you guys are full of crap and that's why you went out of business. Who's He-Man? Look, I'm tired of taking abuse from over privileged nine years. Face it, Ghostbusters doesn't exist. Ungrateful little yuppie larva. So there is no more ghosts. I conjured up a hundred foot marshmallow man through the top three floors off an uptown high rise, ended up getting sued by every state, county, and city agency in New York. But what a ride. What? I sure hope it's Bill Murray's baby. And then it just suddenly stopped right in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. And did anyone else see this happen? Egon. What are you working on, Egon? I'm trying to determine whether human emotions actually affect the physical environment. They think they're here for marriage counseling. We kept them waiting for two and a half hours. Now my assistant is asking them if they'd mind waiting another half hour. About the carriage. Well, I'd like to bring Ray in on this, if you don't mind. But not think. Oh, no. Why? Do you ever see him? He was borderline for a while. Then he crossed the border. And Does he ever so what? mention me? No. We didn't part on very good terms. No, no. What did he mean? He was borderline, then he crossed the border. Hi, welcome oh. back to World of the Psychic. I'm chatting with my guest, Milton Angland. Milt, your new book is called The End of the World. Can you tell us when it's going to be, or do we have to buy the book? The Stroke of Midnight on New Year's Eve. Cutting it a little bit close, isn't it? Your book is just coming out. You're not going to see any paperback <laughs> sales for at least a year. Devil's advocate, Milty. Milty. Shouldn't you have said... This, 1994? This is not just some money-making scheme. My other guest may disagree with you. The end of the world will be on February 14th, 2016. Valentine's Day. <sighs> 2016. Where'd you get your date, Elaine? As I told my husband, I was having a drink at the bar, and this alien approached me. How did we know he, he bought was me a drink? I I think he must have used some kind of a ray because he forced me to follow him to his room. And that's where he told me about the end of the world. So your alien had a room at the Holiday Inn? It might have been a room on the spacecraft made up to look like a room at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> and that is the whole problem with aliens, is you just can't trust them. Next week, though, hairless pets. Weird. This is Peter Vickman saying, 
Does he actually do any psychic stuff? No respected psychic will come on the show. They think you're a fraud. I am a fraud. Hold on, real quick. Why does no one did no one see the marshmallow man and the demons and the on the top of the building? You stay away from the mayor. The last thing we need is for him to be associated with two bid frauds and publicity hounds like you and your friends. Well, I'm a voter. Tell us how you really feel. Aren't you supposed to lie to me and kiss my butt? Yeah. Everything you're doing is bad. I want you to know this. You'll be careful with that. What is he from? Now that my baby's a little older, I'm gonna try to go back to the orchestra. Could I say goodbye? Maybe bring you to a brunch? I can't today, I have an appointment. Every day I say, well, do you reckon you do something? You say, no, I can't do something. Oh. Well, I give you a ring. <laughs> I think that she likes me. No, I do, I truly do. Uh... Uh, perhaps you could help me. I'm looking for a love potion that I could spray on a certain penthouse pet. How school? Bet those science chicks really dig that large cranium. I think they're more interested in my epididymis. <sighs> Explain the joke. I don't know. What are you guys working on? Um, checking something out for an old friend. Neat. Who? Who? Just someone we know. Who? Ah! Ah! Ow! Dana Barrett! What's he doing? Ow! My Dana Barrett? My Dana Barrett. Oh, good to see you. Hello, Dana. Hi, Egon. Well, I know I'm just asking for the big hoot, but I thought I'd give us one more chance. He tortured me. He pulled my ears. He tortured me. Hello, Dana. So, what would you like to do first? We'd like to examine the baby first. This is fine. It's okay? I hope this isn't the same apartment. We'll have to lay him down flat. He's holding the cello. Just admit it, Dana. You like it. Male Caucasian, <laughs> uh, approximately 24 inches. Look how cute. Uh, appears to be ticklish. Yep. You know, you'd have been better off marrying me. Whenever I brought it up, you'd get drowsy and fall asleep. So they did date for a bit. I'm a man. I need to feel loved. I need to be desired. So when you started introducing me as the old ball and chain, that's when I left. I may have a lot of personal problems, but I'm a total professional when it comes to my job. Bankman, would you get a stool specimen, please? Business or personal? Mm, very cheerful. My parents didn't believe in toys. Mm, very cheerful. I should have been your father. Oh. I mean, I could have been. <laughs> he's cute with him. Hey, well, what do you think? He's ugly. I mean, he's not <laughs> elephant man ugly, but he's not attractive. Was his father ugly? Don't listen. And he stinks. Did his father stink? They could be a family. What's your name? His name is Oscar. Named after a hot dog. You poor, poor man. It stopped right over there. We're scientists. Let's go, Get out of the way. Get out of the way. We're scientists. Get out of the way. I think we hit the honeypot. 1118 on the PKE. Well, what does that mean? Da -da 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 -da. Why are you cutting? Who told you to stop cutting? Improv. What are you doing? What do you look like we're doing here? Why don't you let us work? We let you work. Some diaper bag downtown is being a jerk. I'm making this work on a Friday night. Am I right, Peter? Of course you're right. Is he right, Ziggy? Yo. Yeah. 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 He just go into his body? A child. We're breaking through. This tile oh market. boy. Slide! It's a river of slime! We got any 25,000 gallons in it! See if I can get a sample. What's going on here? I got 3,000 phones on Greenwich Hill. You're gonna come and shake my monkey tree again? He's so good at this. You know, we can't add order phone company. We check. Uh oh. I got a major gas leak here! Not that good, I guess. Uh, okay, boys. Pull me up now, all right? Oh! Get me out of the car! Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Go back to sleep, darling. No! Hey, hello. I thought that I would stop by to see how, how is it was you. How come ghosts are so attracted to her? How is the baby? He's uh, sleeping. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Strange cat, this one. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Can I? 
Fuck. Oh boy. Before we begin this trial, the law does not recognize the existence of ghosts. Did no one record the ghosts five years ago? I do mostly tax law. I got my law degree in night school. Lewis? Willful destruction of public property, fraud, malicious mischief. <laughs> See in a couple of years. That's your first parole hearing. All right, all right. Let's get on with it. All right, Lewis. The blackout was a big problem for everybody. I was stuck in an elevator for two hours and I had to make the whole time. But I don't blame them. It's one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. <laughs> I love him. So, so, so you were just trying to help out a, a help out a friend. Who was frightened. Who was scared of what was happening to her. Objection, Your Honor. What? He's leading the witness. Give me a break. We're both lawyers. Give you. <laughs> You and your co-defendants took it upon yourselves to dig a very big hole in the middle of First Avenue. Well, there's so many holes in First Avenue, we really didn't think anyone would notice. He cannot even help himself. Kitten, I think what I'm saying <laughs> is that sometimes shit happens, someone has to deal with it, and who are you going to call? Find you guilty on all charges. <gasps> Injured 18 months for Rikers Island. Right here. And have you found And the ghosts are back. Friends of yours! I tried to for murder! Oh, oh. What were you just saying? Oh, good one. Good one, Egon. <laughs> you gotta do something! My guys are still under a judicial estrangement order. I've seen the order! Case is bad! Stop using! That was bad. Do Ray! He's gone! He smiled! Whoa! How come they can't see them anymore? It's weird that the ghosts look like monsters, not just like the dead humans that they were. I feel like it's not working. <gasps> Put them in the cans. But don't cross the lines. Ready to go. We be fast and they be slow. It's good to be back, boys. For the beautiful, for the only, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yes. How are they just back all of a sudden? That dumb ghost again won't leave us alone. This guy's got like a personal vendetta. <laughs> Hold on, half price. That's not all. You mean the Ghostbusters hot beverage thermal mug and free <laughs> balloons for the kids? Wait. <laughs> Careful. Should I get spoons? Don't bother. Watch this. this. Science, people. You worthless piece of slime. You're nothing but an unstable short chain molecule. You're, hey, you're just. This is what you do with your spare time. <laughs> Whatever this stuff is, it responds to human emotional states. <gasps> Just like Egon's experiment in the beginning. We've been running tests to see if we can get an equally strong positive reaction. We sing to it. We talk to it. You're not sleeping with it, are you, right? <laughs> you. <laughs> it's always a quiet one. How about the kinetic test? <laughs> okay. You guys do this at night when I'm not here. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. It really does dance. Oh, you're my number one Christmas boutique gift item. If the toaster could eat the hand. We don't have any liability. Ah! How did you ever go for it? The old man-eating toaster. Yeah! Yeah! These guys just make me happy. I hope they had fun doing this movie for real. Listen to the music they just started playing. <laughs> You're good. I didn't paint it. I'm just cleaning it. Aren't you going to introduce me? Dr. Janusz Poha. Yes, I have, of course, a C on the television. 
This is Prince Hegel. Bit of a sissy, isn't he? He was also a lunatic and a genocidal madman. He's missed his kitten. We'll just put one in here by the castle. Yes, I think so. Yes, the, the joyfulness is over. Well, you're not going to get a green card with that attitude, pal. Okay? Oh. I get the feeling that that painting is watching me. Where's his little meter? Please no ghosts with the baby. Remember the painting Bankman mentioned? Ran the name Vigo de Carpathia through the occult reference net. Nice ugly history. You think there's a connection between this Vigo character and the... The atomic weight of cobalt, 58.9. <laughs> I have been holding on to this for a long time, Oscar. I got this from a girl. Who got this? From Joe. We don't know how. We don't want to know. No. Get out of here. You're going to be staying at Uncle Pete's until this thing blows over. This is your place now. Why is he so likable? Vigo the Carpathian, also known as Vigo the Cruel, Vigo the Torturer, Vigo the Despised, and Vigo the Unholy. Wasn't he also Vigo the Butch? His last words were, death is but a door, I'll be back. <laughs> Suck in the guts, guys, with the Ghostbusters. Give me angry. Will you, will you give me angry if you've had a bad day? You're cranky? Thank you. Good. Good. <laughs> Ooh, angrier. Give me hot and sexy. Can you do it? You can. What's happening? I bet the girls like you, huh? That's it. More. Yeah, come on. You're big. Just try me now. Yeah. Give it. Give it. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk. He really goes for a bit when he I does that. better, but not many. Thank you. Uh, hey, you finished? What? I mean, you're not coming down with something. Why didn't he tell them what he saw? So what happened with my apartment? The guys spent the whole night there. They went through all your things, tried out some of your clothes. She is putting out the vibes. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Get crazy with me on the streets of Manhattan tonight. I have got you a babysitter. Here. Thank you. In your apartment. A couple of provocative ensembles <laughs> in here. I'll leave it up to you. Don't put any of those old cheap moves on me. I have all new cheap moves. You? Dana, did you see some shirts here in the floor bed area? Yeah, I put them in the hamper. I have a hamper? What a bachelor. Do you want to have something to eat with me? Yeah, I'd love that, but I told Dr. Vinkman I'd babysit for you. You want to babysit with me? Okay, I would. Great. His place at eight. Bye. His place at eight. Let me move. <laughs> Lewis. Oh, boy. We were right, Ray. We should get a deeper look. <gasps> Why don't I run this wider shot through the spectra analyzer? I'll try turning up the ranges. Okay. It's like they're making up words, and they are. That's one thing. I know what it is. And you guys had me dangling like a worm on a hook 100 feet below First Avenue. That's the river of slime. What? That's concerning. Oh, Winston. They don't know who they're dealing with. Jackson! <laughs> We've got incredible news. All you can eat barbecue rib night at the Sizzler. Hi, boys. Hi. The guys are going down to the sewer to check for slime stuff. Egon thinks there may be a huge <laughs> surge in cockroach breeding. You want to blow off this dinner thing? And... Taxi! Women. <laughs> he just can't get away with it somehow. I don't know. They're not even mad. They're just like. Oh yeah, it's Peter. This is too dark to see the cockroaches. It's the subway rats you gotta worry about. Biggest beavers. Hey, hey, enough, all right? You hear them behind the walls? They're trying Just to shut scare. up about the rats. Back to the cockroaches. Hello? 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 Before we go any further, I think we should get our proton packs. Yes! Good idea. What's that? Sounds like a train. These lines have been abandoned for 50 years. Why aren't they running out of there? It's a ghost train. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Did you catch your number on the locomotive? I missed it. <laughs> proton packs, people. Ray? Ray! He was just there. Ray? Go ahead, go ahead. I found it! Right here, there's a hole! The river of slime. 
much negative energy it must have taken to generate a flow this size. New York, what a town. Let's see how deep it is. Give it a sound again. Cut it off of him! <gasps> Help him! <gasps> They're the best friends ever! Sparks are flying! Why did you dump me? I mean, you weren't very good for me, you know. Well, heck, I'm not even good for me. You're much better than you realize. If I had this kind of support, I could have myself whipped into shape by the end of this century. Well, why don't you just give me a jingle in the year 2000? Why don't I give you a jingle right now? Seven little dwarves had a limited partnership in a small mining operation. And one day, a beautiful <laughs> princess came to live with them, and they bartered housekeeping services for room and board. You're very good with children. Thanks, I practiced on my hamster. <laughs> So you live alone? I used to have a roommate, but my mom moved to Florida. Oh, Lewis. I like a child myself. Uh, tonight? <laughs> oh. They made it. Shouldn't they enlist some kind of CIA, FBI? They're just these three guys. You were too stupid not to drop that clock on! Drop me, drop me. Oh. Stop it! Get your us! <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, dear. Oh. How's ready to kill you? It's the stuff. <gasps> It's like pure concentrated evil. And it's all flowing right to this spot. No, it's alright. <laughs> 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 You're scaring the straights, okay? Rivers of this stuff. And it's all flowing right to the museum. The museum! <gasps> My museum? There they are. Peter. But he was arrested. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> no one's surprised. So do you think we should go? I don't think we should leave her alone. You're right. Let's stay. <laughs> You've got two minutes. Make it good. We're here tonight because a psychomagnetic slime flow of immense proportions is building up beneath the city. Psycho what? Psychomagnetic. Oh, the hate, the anger, and violence of this city is turning into this sludge. This whole place is going to blow like a frog on a hot plate. What am I supposed to do? Go on television and tell 10 million people they have to be nice to each other? Yeah, and sing. Being miserable and treating other people like dirt is every New Yorker's God-given right. Your two minutes are up. You're making a big mistake, Mr. Mayor. A very newsworthy mistake, though. The Times is going to be interested in Before you go running off to the newspapers, would you consider telling the slime business to some of our people downtown? That is so wrong! Thank you, Dr. Oh my gosh. Command me, Lord. The season of evil begins with a new year. <gasps> new Year's Eve, just like that guy said. If I bring the baby, could I have the woman? So be it. Wife to you, mother to me. Yes! Mother? No, no, no. Come on. <gasps> Oscar! Call 911 right now! What is he doing? Is the ghost doing this to him? Can Oscar even walk? No! No, 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 no! <gasps> no! And she can't even call the Ghostbusters! We think the spirit of a 17th century Moldavian tyrant is alive and well in a painting. Tell me about the slum. We made a toaster dance with it. <laughs> in a bathtub trying to eat his French baby. They're building his gaze. Don't mess with a mom and her baby. What's she gonna do though? She doesn't have a proton pack. Looks like the red rum. <laughs> Which I know is murder spelled backwards. Okay, guys. I didn't catch it the first time. <gasps> oh, Please tell me the creepy painting guy isn't in Oscar yet. You stay away from us, Janos. You will be the mother and the ruler of the world. Doesn't that sound nice? You're not gonna take my baby. <gasps> That's terrifying. Baby seems to be handling it well. Shoulda listened to them! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> he says the Titanic just arrived. Oh. Literally to me. I'm going down in history as the mayor who let New York get sucked down into the 10th level of hell. Yeah, because that's what's important right now. Now, where are the Ghostbusters? Well, I You're had them fired. <laughs> you have exactly three minutes to really? clear them out. You're fired! Have you ever seen anything like that? Actually, he has. Somebody get me the Ghostbusters. I didn't know it was an eclipse and the whole town went dark. It all fits. He needs a human body to inhabit. I love that they're just like so into their science that they just have no fear. They're like, this is amazing. They're like celebrities. The city would be mine and Vigo's. Mainly Vigo's. Not really dead. His eyes right through the place you and I could learn to love each other. Yes, I could learn. That's right, Dina. Let's go. Save them. They're booing them. <laughs> that slime wall is pulsing with evil. <gasps> It would take a tremendous amount of positive energy to crack that shell. You know, I just can't believe things have gotten so bad in the city that there's no way back. There's gotta be a few sparks of sweet humanity left. We just have to figure out a way to mobilize it. We need something that everyone in this town can get behind. We need a symbol. Something that appeals to the best in each and every one of us. Something good. Something decent. Something pure. What? Lady Liberty. Kinda makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, she's naked under that toga. <laughs> she's French. You know <laughs> Is our slime in a good mood? I hope so. She's a lot bigger than a toaster. It's slime time. Slime time. Pilot controls are ready. Here's something off the request line from Liberty Island. <laughs> Please tell me the Statue of Liberty is going to walk to the museum. That's what the pilot <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We should really get the city's positive energy flowing, huh, Mickey? You look fantastic in this. I was born to wear this stuff. <laughs> Boy, this equipment's heavy. Does he have earmuffs on? This is so happy. Can't you go any faster? You should have patted her feet. I don't think they make Nikes in her size, right? <laughs> Good one, Egon. Sorry! <laughs> Happy New Year. Good, good, good. I didn't know you had your license. Go, baby. No. No. Ew, ew. <laughs> <gasps> yes! Happy New Year! You are like the buzzing of flies to him! You hose him, please. That's for stealing a baby. Boy, am I glad to see you. Where's Vigo, though? Get him away! We gotta cut him out of this! Uncle Pete's gotta go help your mom for a second. You stay right here and don't say anything, okay? No, don't leave the baby alone. Pull it right now, deadhead! He's you want a baby? He's very angry. Go ahead and knock up some willing hellhound. Otherwise, I'm giving you three to get back in that painting where you belong. One, two, three! <gasps> How is he so powerful? No! Please, do something! You, the bimbo with the baby. Make it Only a Carpathian would choose New York. If you had brain one, you would be living the sweet life out in Southern California's <laughs> beautiful San Fernando Valley. Where's that singing coming from? Positive energy. I'm here with you guys. It's like Elf! They just need the magic! Get back 
get him. Uh oh. Veggie, Veggie, you have been a bad monkey. Oh, we'd like to shoot the monster. Could you move, please? Hey. No. no. But it's Ray. Oh, there we go. He's out. Oh, that is so gross. They've done it again. <laughs> that was great. He's gonna get all the credit. Spread out, Charlie. Their family. I love you guys. Oh, he's in the happy slime. Why are my drippings with goo? I love you. Well, I love you so. <laughs> hey, fellas. Wow. Early Renaissance, I think. <laughs> so happy. Finally getting some credit. He's Canadian too. And Rick Moranis. Is he? <laughs> He's so good at that. It was a lot of fun. Very entertaining. I laughed out loud a lot. It wasn't as good as the first one. Dang it, but it was still really, I'm glad all the same cast came back. That was happy. Love Bill Murray still. I love all of them, actually. They all were even more themselves and that part was so fun i just i don't think i liked the story as much and i don't think i liked the villain as much statue of liberty thing was like eh, i don't know but i still want to watch the next one and is there a next one or is it just the girl one i don't want it to be over like i said i was still very entertained it almost felt like more kid friendly. Like it was way less creepy. I don't know if they were trying to cater to like a younger audience, but it almost felt more like family friendly. I don't know. Sequels are so hard because like the original wonder and awe of what that was and what Ghostbusters was is gone and they have to really make it new without losing the magic. It was kind of the same, like they used kind of the same plot and people and characters and even idea of this villain coming to New York to like, and like they save it. But like, I loved it. When they strapped on the stuff, da -da 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 -da. like, I mean, it was great. It was fun. Not as good as the first, but still super entertaining. I just love each of those guys so much. Egon, Ray, Winston, Bankman, and, oh, what's his name? Lewis and Lewis. Anyways, I had a good time, felt fun in October, and I'm happy I watched it. Thanks for watching along with me, guys. I'll see you soon.